I'm saying that like I'm live. <laughs> I guess y'all been wondering, girl, where the heck you been? Where have you been? <laughs> I've been busy, y'all. Busy. You know, I told y'all I got other things in my life. Now, I'm trying to make some side money like I keep saying. Y'all need to try to do the same because I'm telling you things about to get worse. When I say worse, y'all, I mean worse. I saw the other day, I think it was yesterday, that McDonald's is sending people home. They about to do a purge, y'all. McDonald's at the corporate office. I think they got over 150,000 something people working at the corporate office. You got to ask yourself, what the heck is going on with McDonald's? You know, they wanted the number one chain. Did they finally figure out, well, we got too many unnecessary people working for us, so we're going to have to do a purge. We're going to have to lay off. Now, I don't know about the restaurants itself, the little people who work in the restaurant, the manager, the assistant managers, and the employees. I don't know if they're going to be purged too, but I think those are franchises, so I don't know what's going to happen with them. We're talking about the corporate office now. So that goes to show you, y'all, no job is secure, Okay. You sitting there, you put in all those hours, you work all those years, no job is secure. Even if you're a bank, still not secure. They can lay off too, y'all. Look at what's going on with some of the banks, you know, closing down, mishandling money. Look at that. So I'm telling y'all, you better get your hustle on because I'm telling you, People, older people like me, way, way, way older than me. I'm going to say way, way, way older. <laughs> Getting Social Security, I don't get Social Security yet. <coughs> you people are going to need a side hustle too. You people are going to need something. You say, Sam, why you all of a sudden you start talking about side hustles all of a sudden? Because y'all, is necessary. Because I see some people... Down in the comment section, not only on my site, other people videos too, Twitter, all over, Instagram, Facebook, complaining about the money, complaining about the prices of everything. I see it. I mean, but you're talking, but what you going to do about it? You're just going to, what do I always say, lay down and die? I mean, you're not going to do nothing about it? You know, I'm trying to do the little YouTube thing. I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. I'm trying to make it work. But I'm telling you, if you go down and look at my videos, you see they're not getting many views. <coughs> <coughs> oh, Lord. I, <coughs> I didn't want to pause this video, but if I keep coughing, <sighs> let me tell you, coughing is good. <laughs> I ain't going to say it's good for coughing, but it's good. <laughs> Help. Hot coffee. You need some warm down your throat. It could be tea, whatever, you know. Uh, lemon juice, warm lemon juice, whatever, you know. Whatever helps you out, okay? So don't be talking about my coffee. Coffee bad for you. Well, child, please, okay? A lot of things are bad for y'all, but y'all eat them in a way. You eat them and you drink them. I have one cup a day, and that's good enough for me, okay? All right. Now, I know y'all saw what happened with my man. I know y'all saying, girl, we thought you were going to come back here and talk about Trump. Why? 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 Everybody else talking about it. Everybody else knows what's going on. I'm not going to keep talking about that because, you know, that pisses me off. It stresses me a little bit because I can't understand why Congress don't do something about it unless they just can't. Y'all let me know down in the comment section. Why nobody is stopping this mess that's going on? Alvin Bragg. Now they want to charge him with 30-something felonies. 
the crimes that he they claim he did is supposed to be a misdemeanor, but now all of a sudden it's going to be changed to a felony? And let's not forget how long it's been, y'all. The statute of limitation is gone. But they're going to make special, special recommendations that Trump be charged no matter how long it's been. There's no statute of limitation when it comes to Trump, y'all. Also with them other charges, okay, the stat statute of limitation is gone, okay. I don't understand this. That's why I keep talking about it because, you know, piss me off. I just wonder what's next, what's coming next down the pipe. We already know that it's a distraction for something, okay. Y'all are being distracted from something that you really don't know about. I'm serious. Now, a lot of people say, stop saying. I heard somebody say that in somebody's comment section. Stop saying that it's going to affect other people. If they can do this to Trump, they can do this to you. Why are you scared to hear that, huh? Because you believe it? Because you know it's true? You're scared to hear the truth? That's what that is? Because it's true. If they can do this to a president... God knows what they can do to you, okay? Probably even worse. So some of y'all need to shut up about that. People need to stop saying that. Stop saying that if they can do it to the president, they can do it to you. Well, it's true. They didn't lie, okay? You just don't like to hear it. Just say that. You don't like to hear to say that. You don't like nobody to say that. Oh, man, let me get some coffee. I'm getting crazy right now. Getting crazy. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh. Look what I've been working on. Well, hey, Dad, pretty. Look at that. I told you I've been busy. That's the inside. I mean, it's really nice. You got to get your mind focused on something. I got to get focused on something other than doing videos talking about political stuff because I'm telling you that stuff can strip. Look, I can't even see how to stick it in a hole. It goes in there easy, y'all. It goes in there easy, all right? But I'm just telling you, you got to do something. I might distress the size. I don't know. I'm thinking about it in the top. Just the inside. Maybe do the inside job. Look at that. Look at that. That girl, bad. She bad. Ain't that pretty? That is nice. This will look good on a vanity or a table. The reason why I said table, look, I did the back, too. I put the fabric on the back. I mean... You just got to find your hustle. Don't complain about what you ain't got if you ain't going to do nothing about it. Don't do that, y'all. People get tired of that. People get tired of hearing, I ain't got no money. I can't do that. I can't buy no food. I'm just so poor. I'm poor. I can't do nothing. Won't nobody help me. My well, first thing, y'all. You're going to have to help yourself because if you don't help yourself, who will? I learned that the hard way, okay? Since I don't have a car and people I know that live around here in my building know I don't have a car, do you think someone would ask me? Do you think they would ask, girl, I know your daughter's working and I know, you know, she got little kids. And I know she probably lived about 20, 25 minutes away. But they know the ones, you know, that I talk to and speak to. You think they would say, I'm about the one with the cars. Girl, I'm going to the store. Is it anything that you need? Girl, I'm going to the store. Do you want to ride with me? Girl, let me know if you need something from the store. Let me know. I'm already going. You ain't got to give me no gas because I'm already going to the store. Nope. Nope, not one person. Not one. What? That lets me know where I stand with people. Because, see, I'm not like that. Right. I'm not like that. If I had it, when I had my car, people need to go somewhere and I know I'm going to the store. Call them up. Hey. I'm going to the store. Do you need anything? Do you want to ride with me? 
I'm going to the mall. Do you want to go to the mall? Because I know you're sitting in the house in the apartment without a car. Do you just want to get out and walk with me? Do you want to do something with me? But nobody say nothing here. Okay. I know they old. And I know they're getting around because I see them getting in the cars. And I see them leaving, going for about 15 minutes, come back with bags, you know, from the store. Go on 30 minutes an hour, come back with a, a cart full of just grocery bags. They didn't even ask me now. I asked them more than two or three times. I even asked them. Okay. I said, if you're going to the store, let me know. Because you know I don't have a car. Let me know if you're going to the store. That way I can go with you and get a couple of things. And I'm going to try to hurry up because I'm going to make sure that I finish shopping before they do. But sometimes, you know, I just need one, two or three things, you know. I don't need a whole lot of grocery shopping. I may shop maybe once a month, but my daughter take me to do that. So I don't need that, okay? I want to get a car. I do, but the prices are so high, and I know right now that my budget, even though the little side hustles I'm doing, that's not guaranteed money, okay? I got to have guaranteed money. YouTube is not guaranteed money, y'all. So I have to do something on the side to make a little extra money. But to buy a car and to pay for insurance, especially now, how much the cars cost and insurance going up, you got to make a good enough money. You got to have a steady income. That's what I'm really trying to say. Right now, my income ain't steady. It trickles here and there. It's good some months and some months it ain't. You know, it's according to, you know, people and how much money they got when you're selling stuff. It's hard out here, y'all. It's hard out here for an old person. Not for an old person either. Not just old people. We talking about anybody really in these days and times. And we wondering what they got coming up next for us. What they got coming, y'all? Y'all know something's going to happen. What's next? This is April, May, June. They claim, here he we go again, y'all. They claim something big is going to happen in June. <laughs> here we go again. I don't know if that's true or not. I can't say it. To me, the only big thing that can happen to me, really, if the Lord above come down here and get rid of all these corrupted people, that, to me, is the biggest thing ever, okay, that could happen. Unless the Lord, oh God, Jesus Christ, God, somebody send somebody down here to help the we the people. Is that going to happen, y'all? Yes, it's going to happen, but we don't know when. I hope it happens within my lifetime. I hope it happens this year, you know. All this stuff going on is scary. It is scary, y'all. <sighs> Let me get out of here. Go down that comment section and tell me how you dealing with life. How are you dealing with everything that's going on? Is it stressing you out? Is your money limited? Is it? Can you buy what you need, your necessities at least? Can you buy that? Are you without a car? Do people help you? Do they help you or they just look at you? If I didn't have a daughter, I don't know what would happen. I got another daughter and a son too, y'all. But they live far, far away. Maybe about an hour and a half, two hours away. There's no way they can come down here every week to take me to the store. There's no way. I live closer to my one daughter, and she's the one that comes and helps me a whole lot. She helps me a whole lot. I love her to death. I love all of them. All my kids. They sweet. They sweet to their mama, all right. But go down there and tell me what y'all think, because this is getting outrageous, y'all. It's getting bad. With all that said, go watch the next two videos. At least one of them. Yeah.